you could be broke. It could be hard. The struggle is real. Trust me, I know because I put myself out there on a continuous basis to experience as much as I can experience in life so I can have full control over my future and full control over my abilities, my come ups, my come downs, and so on. Don't be confused by the hype, okay? The focus of this video is to eliminate that idea of the middle class from your mindset. That is not a goal, it's a facade, it's the American dream. What's happening is there are people out there that don't have the courage that you have, don't have the the persistence and the tenacity to, 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 to step over and go above and beyond, past survivor mode, but into fighter. You know, they're not enough fighters. Stop, dog. They're not enough fighters out there. Now, what the middle class do, they create this defense mechanism. And what that defense mechanism is, is called credit. It's called um, leverage and so on and what they're doing is there's people out there that we idolize you know when you're when you're under right so there's three levels well there's, there's actually like four levels so it's like you're broke then you're all right you're low class you make low income you know every dollar you spend is all the dollars that you have and you have middle class middle class is basically where you're in a financial position where you probably have a good job or you have someone taking yeah, okay, let's say. Okay, let's, so let's say you have a you have a good job and you're making good money, maybe like 50k to 100k a year. In America, that puts you in a higher bracket of most people. But what the middle class teach you is the more you earn, the more money you burn, which is not the right thing to do. When you see people out there in Lamborghinis, when you see people, you know, just shopping and shopping and shopping, Neiman Marcus, Louis Vuitton, all this designer stuff, everything that they think they can afford everything. See, what they're doing is tricking themselves into the mindset of someone that's comfortable. When you're really hungry, down here, this is about as hungry as you'll, you, you'll ever be. Even the super successful people, they get really hungry, but it's not at, it's, it's hunger, but it's a different kind of hunger. The, the ideas that you can get are just, they're so far beyond the idea that you'll concur at such a, uh, such a lower level of of reality you know you your do every dollar you have is your last dollar you don't have good friends around you and so on so when you're down here you're looking at people up here you're like damn that's where I want to be when I want to grow up that's the kind of car I want to drive that's the kind of house I want to live in and, and so on but they're forgetting the fourth quadrant here okay so you're broke you're middle class you're rich then you're wealthy the wealthy don't do what the middle class people do the middle class people will forever be middle class now it's a good goal to have if you're super low in your level of life and financial states right now like okay i want to get here but the big idea the big idea is to create wealth multiple streams of income making money while you're sleeping doing the things that you want to do on your time middle class people still have jobs they may have good jobs but they still have a boss when you have a boss you have limitations what that means is if he goes out one night and gets a little too drunk and gets the wrong picture taken him or he sleeps with the wrong woman or accidentally kills somebody drunk driving and so on and he's you know he's not able to do the things that he would usually do to keep the business running when he falls the middle class that are depending on that source of income that one source of income or depending on that one person or so on when they fall the middle class fall with them and then they go right back down to the bottom and they don't really know how to act so why be so close right what are you shooting for what's your target what are you trying to hit if you have a target that is up here then you have a higher chance of landing somewhere in between wealthy and rich but if you're only shooting for middle class why would you want to do middle class that's not even all the way you're here you're just trying to go so it's like i have a boss but i want a better boss you know what i mean you you don't want to do that you want to have a boss and then no boss so that actually means that you're here and then you go back down which is survival hunger figuring it out experiences taking taking action jumping out there having no fear taking risk and so on when you go here this builds up so much credibility and hunger and experience and you understand knowledge because what you do with your time really matters you have to read you have to put the information the right information in your mindset so you can avoid liabilities in life because what happens is when you do come up boom oh i got a better job boom oh i have a great job let me try and get a credit card let me try and buy a boat let me get a better car let me get a more expensive rent let me get a bigger apartment and so on that shit just screws you up and what happens is as long as you have that job you will always be middle class you will always be in the middle here and i don't like that idea it's just a facade it's just an idea that people are you know they, they they're, they're trying to show you that to make you feel like hey 
we're rich or this is the life when in all reality it's not the life the life is really up here full freedom full freedom no one tells you what to do no uh, no other person's actions will reflect on your come up right so you want to shoot for up here so you're going to be a little middle class on your come up okay you do middle class like a year or a year or two you know a year or a year or two of, of middle class you don't want to stay here the I, the objective the big idea is to be up here fucking wealthy extremely wealthy full control over your reality now you may ask yourself okay i understand that jay but how do i do that how do i do that you write it down write it down get a goal and get off your ass immediately don't go to bed tonight until you've done something something anything that can make you somehow believe that you can get there. If you're doing the baby minuscule stuff, you're only gonna get so high. And if you're doing the same thing every day, you're not gonna gain anything. If anything, you're just gonna deteriorate or it will stay the same and you'll fall into a plateau. So your goal is to write down your goals, get a vision, get an idea and attack it with every single piece of energy that you have. Anything that you can think to do that will get you here, not just here, but here. You're gonna fall here regardless because it's part of the come up, but you're trying to become free the way that we're brought up in this country, the way that they're trained, they're training us to not succeed. Only the special among us can succeed. And it's not it's not fair. And it's not right. I'm telling you, you can make it, I can make it, we can make it, but we have to just dream bigger than where we're currently at right now in our life. And we can't idolize people that are just a little bit better than us. We have to idolize people who are mega, mega successful. Leaders of the industry. The big dogs. The hierarchy, the, the guys that are just like, man, look what all he's done. You want to idolize that. You want to be that person because I guarantee you, even if you don't make it that far, which you probably will, if you stay, if you, you stay consistent, persistent, and disciplined, but even if you don't hit that mark, you'll at least fall like right between here. And right here is a very nice life. We don't have too much time on this earth. The next world, the next planet, I don't know what that's going to be like. But while we're here right now, don't get distracted by the people on Facebook and the people on Instagram and the people showing off their watches and their car and they have the good job because trust me they lose all of that shit what do they have nothing so what you need to do is focus on the big picture because these people never lose they never ever ever lose you may lose millions and millions and millions millions up here but you'll never be down here because once you super succeed it's inevitable to really fail. All right, guys, that's my little insight for you today. If you like my information, I want you to go ahead and click the link below, sign up for Hustler Talk. This Sunday, we're gonna be going in. We're gonna be talking about goal setting and I'm gonna be basically helping you get to that next level, primarily through setting three specific goals. But we're gonna talk into it a little more. We're gonna talk about a little bit more this Sunday. And if you wanna get started with your online business, start making money just like I do as we speak right now making money, you can too. I want you to click the link below and purchase the $100 startup. It's only $12.99. If you have $12.99, you probably shouldn't be watching these videos. So I will talk to you soon. Later, guys.